Hey guys, what is up? EBN Gaming back today with an episode of Extraordinary Factions, and this episode is going to be awesome, guys, because while I was off camera, my boy Zargon PvP spelled just like that. Shout out to him because he hooked me up with some spawners. As you can see in my vault right now, we have 14 cave spider spawners and a blaze spawner. I got an extremely good price from him. I still have 232k left, so he is just awesome. Thank you so much to him for that. Shout out to him. And today, we are going to build a money machine with this stuff. So, I'm thinking of using the cave spider spawners just for basically some, uh, you know, experience with the blaze rods. That's where the money is. Four for 75. And I, I saw a really try-hard blaze, not really try-hard, a really good blaze grinder online and I'm actually gonna do a time lapse of that today, build that thing, and go AFK for a bit, see how much money we can actually make from it. So I will see you guys when we start building that thing. Alright guys, I've got my room cleared all out. Let's build ourselves a blaze spawner. Alright guys, we are back. Uh, that wooden block of theirs is representing the blaze spawner, by the way. But, here's the thing. My room was actually too small for the, what the tutorial called for. And as you can see, we're now at bedrock. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave out the redstone in it. Basically, the blaze are going to spawn up here. They're going to drift down. They're going to get... Uh, they're going to fall into this 2 eye block. Um, they will be able to climb back up and they'll fall again down in here and basically I'm just going to have a little station set up right here where I can easily kill them from inside here and I don't think they should be hostile when they spawn so I guess that's how we're gonna do it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a slash set home blaze right in here uh, we'll go ahead and cut off the oh that's gravel whatever whatever I'll take the gravel we'll go ahead and cut off these corners we aren't gonna need them anymore and I'm gonna go ahead and place our spawner up there Let's see how it does. So there we go. Get some light in here for you guys. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to run up there, place that thing, and we'll see if they're hostile when they come down. So let's go slash vault. Make sure we have our silk pick on hand in case we need it. There's our blaze spawner. It's so beautiful. All right, climb up here. Do not want to misplace this thing. So we'll get on a little bit of gravel right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hack that out of the way clear this out of the way go ahead and drop it right there then very careful not to mine it gonna take that out all right so the blaze spawn in looks like they are not hostile I like to say because they're not lighting on fire when they see me all right so that's good i'm gonna turn down their sound a little bit actually let's go hostile creatures down a bit and uh, they should fall right down here where i can kill them and if we get a loot and three sword it'll be even better but we're gonna get a ton of xp from these guys and a ton of blaze rods that guy should fall down here eventually. We might put some uh, pistons up here later to help that along. But theoretically, that, yeah, it'll keep spawning while they're up there. So they're just going to spawn, fall straight down. Uh, if they get caught on the edges, I can, of course, just jump up there and kill them. But maybe if I hit them, they'll come down here. I'm not really sure. Yeah, so we will need pistons up here on this upper ledge. I will do that off camera, though. And uh, yeah, so that looks pretty good, actually. We've already got four blaze rods. That's 75 bucks in just a few minutes. Not too shabby right there. We could just straight cover... See, on this server, it's really unique because the mobs aren't hostile when they spawn, so we could straight just do that. Go slash set home blaze in here. Place a light, and just wait until they spawn. Uh, once this spawns, they'll just fall down. I can kill them. I can go AFK in here for a while and basically kill them as they come down. We might not even need pistons, so we'll see if they're going to spawn. Yep, here they come. 
So they're going to drop down. We'll just go ahead and kill them as soon as they get down here. Uh, and yeah, and then we'll just wait for more. So looks like that's going to work pretty well. We already got five blaze rods. And I'm actually going to AFK here for about 15 minutes. See what happens. And I'll be back when we're done with that. Well, guys, I've been here about five minutes, and uh, it definitely seems to work. So, uh, one thing left to do, we gotta murder everything. So, there we go. We do need to stop them from getting trapped on the top, because that's gonna stop them from spawning when they're still in the range of the spawner. But we can fix that in the future, just stick some blocks up there so they don't spawn. And, uh, yeah, it's time to kill all of them. Look at all this XP we're getting. We were like half, we started at like two levels and just five minutes of AFK, we are like at 16 already. That, that's incredible, because they get twice as much XP as any other mob, which is absolutely amazing. Already getting lots of blaze rods, kill these ones up here. We might even put water up here, that automatically kill them for us. That, that actually worked really well if we could get that to work. So uh, we might, I might think about doing that in the future, but for now we're just going to go ahead and kill these guys. And this is not a looting sword either, so once we get a looting sword... We should get, this This probably gives about a stack of blaze rods right here. So that's 20 right there, and looks like that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and set home blaze, just in case we forgot to do that. 23 levels already, and if we, that's just one spawner. We can buy more in the future as well, so let's go slash warp shop. This is after 5 minutes of AFK time right now. Let's go ahead and jump over here. We'll sell these, and we should get quite a bit of money for just 5 minutes. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. $375 for 5 minutes, not too shabby, of course if we could AFK overnight or whatever, that'd make us a ton of money, so not a bad money machine for our first try, and we will make sure to make some improvements to it in the future, but for now it's going to be it for this episode, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy, please drop a like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe, but until next time, EBN Gaming out, peace!